how to connect PagePilot to Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect your PagePilot account or the product page that you have created from PagePilot to your store of Shopify. So the process is going to be very simple and easy. We are going to head over to pagepilot.com, sign in for an account, and then we are going to access our dashboard. So since we have the access of the dashboard, we're going to prepare the uh, Shopify website. And that is by heading over shopify.com, sign in for an account. Then we are going to head over the, uh, as you can see here, now the settings by the online store, we are going to head over the preferences and we're going to remove the uh, password protection of the website. So we are going to head over here and normally we're going to, this is not the navigation, we are going to head over the preferences, I think and we are going to remove the password protection because if you are going to create the first as you can see here uh, thing into your uh, shopify store you're going to add uh, the store address first this is something that i haven't added before so here we have the address now i'm going to add uh, real quick the address and then we are going to uh, put the restriction of the web so here we are going to uh, remove the restriction we're going to click on save and boom, this is the first thing that we are going to do. Now, after that, we're going to head over the home. So everything is going to be saved. We're going to head over again, the page pilot dashboard, and we are going to connect our shop by store. So we are going to see if it is going to be the first thing or the first, uh, let's say creation of the account. We are going to have here shop by stores. We're going to click on connect and we're going to have it right there. So you can go ahead and click or connect one store per account, I think for the uh, free account or the free uh, membership. If you are going to remove that specific account or the Shopify store that you have put into this account, make sure that you're going to use a premium plan because the feature of removing a store from Shopify is going to be a paid feature. And also it is going to be uh, not reversible if you're going to be in the free plan. Now, how we can connect our Shopify store. We're going to have the your website URL of the Shopify store, and then we're going to have the Shopify key. How we can get the Shopify key is going to be uh, here very easy. We are going to follow up these steps and then we're going to head over the Shopify store. So we are going to create here a specific API and then we're going to give the access of the, uh, as you can see, page pilot for the products and the themes for reading and writing the theme. And after that, you're going to have here the installation. After you finish that, you're going to have this specific, uh, as you can see, API credential. Then you're going to put it in here. Now we're going to start by adding our website URL. We are going to have it like this by clicking on the online store on the eye in here. We're going to view our store. We are going to have this URL copied, paste it in here. Now for the, uh, as you can see here, the Shopify key, we're going to generate it from here. You're going to head over the settings. And from the settings, we're going to head over developers. I think that not the custom data, but the apps and sales channels. So we are going to click on here. And from these apps, we are not going to choose any app, but we are going to click on develop apps. So we are going to allow the custom app development and we are going to allow it again. And this is the first thing. Now, what are we going to do is to create an app and that app is going to be, for example, page pilot. And we are going to create the app after that we're going to be the owner of that developer app. So we are going to take the full responsibility of it. Now, what are we going to do is to click on configure admin API scopes. Now we're going to head over here for the APIs and we are going to search for the product. So product, and we're going to say, see this, we are going to allow the write and the reading of the product. Then we're going to search for the next one, which is going to be the themes. So we are going to allow the themes to write and also read. 
Now we are going to type in theme. And you're going to see themes. We're going to view uh, or view or manage theme templates and assets. This is something that is going to be required to let a uh, page pilot to set up the app. Now we have normally the selected or the uh, four selected apps. Normally it is going to be four like that. Now we're going to click on save. So now we are going basically to install the app. After the setup of the, uh, as you can see here, app, we're going to click on configuration again, and it is going to be uh, activating the install app. So this is, as you can see, the API admin. We are going to click on here, install, and with that, you're going to get your specific uh, token. So we are going to have our token. We are going to copy it. We are going to head over here on the uh, pilot. Paste it in here, click on connect store, and boom. So here we have actually our store connected. Now what are we going to do? The next thing is to head over or refresh the page for going in here. So we have one Shopify store. So what can we do in here is to generate the page product. How we can do that? You're going to either click on generate or check up the uh, basic knowledge in here and it's set up for example for research and see some of the videos, the products that has been uh, trending these uh, days and etc. Now what I'm going to do is to click on create again on the dashboard. So as you can see, and as you know, PagePilot will not detect automatically product. If of course, if you're going to put or click on a research, it is going to be doing that. So here we're going to put either an AliExpress uh, URL an Amazon URL or a Shopify URL. And then you're going to talk about the product angle or the focus that you want to put into that product, the language, and then you're going to generate the product page. Also, you can set up here the product page layout and add your own. For example, here you can go ahead and have the page file of V1, or you can create a new one, set up the layout, the layout description, the product blocks, the product sections, as you can see, these are going to be the blocks. The sections, as you can see, you can modify the sections. Also, we have the general settings for the fonts, the uh, size of the fonts, the colors used around the corners or not, the call to action, as you can see, and uh, finally, the card drawer. So you can go ahead and add the card drawer. In our case, I'm going to be back in here. So we are going to use the basic one. Also, you can go ahead and use one of the specific used on gallery, for example, like that. You can go ahead and click on add this. So it is going to be in here. You can go ahead and select or have this active or whatnot. You can preview it by checking up here the product page and you're going to see your own. This is something that is going to be very awesome. You can go ahead and select one of these. This is, as you can see, the page pilot V1. This is the old one. I think that is it. And I'm going to maybe uh, visualize that. Let's see here if it is going to be uh, very cool. And it is, I'm not going to lie, this is going to be very classic. Now we are going to have this maybe instead. I'm going to check out this. Uh, most of them are going to be resembling to each other, I think, uh, because I do not see something different in here. Uh, only the uh, color of the buttons, as you can see here, the trust or the or trust badges. I think that I'm going to go with this. I'm going to have it in here. Click on select and boom. Now we are going to head over Amazon, for example. We're going to head over here and get a product. So maybe you're going to, uh, let's say, drop ship. Basically, when you are going to have a, uh, let's say here, a page or a, a store on um, Shopify, you are going to drop ship. So we are going to have. AliExpress, I think, better for the products uh, for drop shipping. Now I'm going to have maybe this. So I think that it is going to be very suitable. So let's see here if it is going to be uh, ready. Please be ready. I need a, these or a link, any type of link in here. So we're going to head over maybe something else. We're going to check it up. I'm going to check up this. And we are going to have it just like that. So 
is take me to the uh, see the preview i'm not going to see the preview but the page itself i'm going to copy the link paste it in here and then the angle so we are going to put here the uh, let's say the angle that we want for that product colorful for example focus or on the let's say the variety variety of the uh, product and then we are going to click on generate the product page in just a few seconds you're going to see that the page is going to be generated and you're going to install it or have it added to your website so we are going to wait and as you can see here we have the source the product and the shopify status so we are going to push that page into our shopify store so here we are going to uh, seek for it we're going to wait for it to finish the things and then we're going to have it right away so here we have our page as you can see generated we are going to click on edit and import and we are going to see the page if we like it and i think that i do we are going to click on import to shopify or in shopify or you can go ahead and click on edit the variance and also we have the uh, option to view the source i'm going to import it to our shopify but as you can see we are going to have this specific uh upgradable plan to do that so we are not going to use one of the plans i'm not going to pay one for it but we are going to have this as a specific page when you finish importing the product you're going to see it into the product uh as you can see section in here and then you are going to have everything in order that was pretty much it for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you in the next one